Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert with Gilbert's Pro Hardware and MrHardware.com to talk about holiday safety and Christmas lighting outside. A couple things to keep in mind. First of all, don't ever run your Christmas lights backwards so that you end up with a female cord at the house and you can't plug it in the house requiring you to go get a double male cord so you can plug it in the wall and plug it into your lights. Very dangerous. You plug this in the wall, this is a live 110 volts electricity outside in the snow, very capable of causing some serious damage to someone. So no double male plugs for any lighting for any of you. Now, when we're out there putting up the lights, we all want more and more and more. Well, we'll talk about power usage real quick. Our old-fashioned lights, the ones that I grew up with, the old C7s and C9s. These are like 7-watt bulbs, 25-watt strings. And day 10, a common size of this is this, is 175 watts. Now, when we're plugging a bunch of stuff together, we can take and add up watts, or we can add up amps. Now, we don't want to make anybody into math magician, but volts times amps equals watts. So we can talk about all our power as watts, we can talk about all our power as amps. See how it's easy math, you can do it either way. I took this 175 watts, divided it by 115 volts, and that gives me one, approximately one and a half amps. So when you take and plug in into the wall outlet, your wall outlet is typically going to be a 15 amp fuse, a smaller but same value 15 amp fuse trine, which is this is a SL fuse with a small base. This is a fuse that with a large base, same size as a light bulb. These old fuses were the same size, so people could incorrectly put a 20 amp or even larger fuse into a 15 amp hole, thus losing protection of what the fuse is supposed to do. Uh, most homes wired in the 50s are all 14 gauge with a little bit of 12, so to give you a clue, your house, you're typically being fed with only 15 amp breaker or fuse, giving you only 1,725 watts. So as we add up our lights here, if we got 175 watts, if we put 10 of these strings in the house, we've used up a whole circuit. Anything else goes in, we're going to start blowing fuses. So all you have to do is be a little bit good at arithmetic, and you can figure out that, that you're restricted to 10 of these, nothing else. All right, so now when we're going with small neon bulbs, like swag lights um, or the icicle lights that we have here, this is the old technology that, that was real popular all the way up until just a year ago. Um, this particular string here draws 0.4 amps, or about 46 watts. So these lights draw a lot less electricity than our old style 7 watt bulbs. Um, these bulbs, you can put over 30 strings of these together, however, and then nothing else. And then now, with the advent of LEDs, this is the latest and greatest, these bulbs draw, this whole string draws only 4.8 watts, which is 0.04 amps. It means you can put over 60 of these strings together. <clears throat> The other good thing with LED bulbs is that they give off no heat. You can take a whole string of these and plug them in and hold, you, hold them in your hand and there's no heat giving off them at all. So when you're take, putting your lighting program together, every one of these strings on the male cord <coughs> lifts either the wattage or the amperage that the cord draws. So you can just take all your toys, add them all up and know whether or not you're going to exceed your circuit breaker or your fuse when you build your Christmas display.